Welcome everybody, so in this video I'm gonna teach you how you can achieve this artwork design using Photoshop. It's like a really really easy to design artwork. It has like cyberpunk vibes in it and it's really simple to design once you understand some basic principles and know how you can use textures on the final designs and maybe some color correction. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into the project and I will guide you step by step in achieving this really awesome design. Okay, welcome. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a while since I've posted a new video, since I've posted a new Photoshop artwork video. Here it is, a cyberpunk inspired artwork using a free image from Unsplash and uh, some textures and some visual elements that you can find in my texture pack which will be available for download in the description of this video so be sure to check it out after watching this video also i've seen that most of you guys that are watching my videos are not subscribed so i invite you to and encourage you to subscribe to my youtube channel because it will mean a lot to me it will help me like a lot to get notice in youtube it will help the youtube algorithm so First of all, let me just hide these layers and we start our basic Photoshop document 2000 by 2072 resolution. The first thing, let me just open this folder and we got our basic, our image on splash on which I've applied some hue and saturations by pressing ctrl u on the keyboard and playing with the with the hue until you are pleased with the final result after it after i've done this i've applied this shape in the corner i've cut the image using the pen tool and then i've drawn a shape with the pen tool that has like four pixel stroke and it's basically a triangle which I've put in here so it won't be black. After that I've created a new layer with black color using the rectangular marquee tool. We can add some text and some really interesting effects. After that I've applied a gradient map on the overall image. If you can see I double, double click the gradient map and these are like the colors. You can stop this video right here take a print screen and then get the colors from it. Put the gradient map on darker color on the blending options. Let's see what we have in here. We have this shape, which also was drawn using the pen tool with a stroke of eight pixels this time. Yeah, it's on linear dodge. Next we have, let's see this and this thing. So this, these two things are like an image, which I've also got from Onsplash. If you go on Unsplash and search for cyberpunk images, you're definitely gonna find these two images and then you're, you can play with them. I've just cut it a part of that, that big image and restretch it, resize it, and then put it in the left upper side. And then I've added some uh, line of code text in here, which I've edited after. You can go on Google and type uh, random uh, code lines generator and you'll definitely find some text generators of code lines and then you can just copy paste it and maybe change a bit the text okay let's press ctrl 0 to revert revert it to the original size after this another gradient map on this image which is on saturation blending mode the gradient is this one now i've just added my sin I was about to say my signature which is this one and it will be in here. So how did I achieve this thing? It's really easy. I've gone into... Ah, crap. I need to close Illustrator. I've gone into Illustrator and I've got my Wacom tablet and then basically drawn this using the, the brush tool and then brought it back to Photoshop and applied some effects on it it's a color overlay of pink purplish opacity 100% and then go to outer glow get this f860dd code press ok go to opacity 31% blending mode normal do not take into consideration the error that photoshop gives you because nobody cares about errors because it's gonna be on the web so yeah 
and it's basically like a really pumpy color that will uh, make your eye like whoa what's that okay so now we have this shape this shape which is also from illustrator i've drawn it in illustrator as a vector as a vector file and then drag it into photoshop as a vector smart object apply soft light and then on the blending options i went to the color overlay white blend mode hue opacity 100 percent and then outer glow the pink purple with a hex color f60 fb2 blend mode normal as i said before size 20 range 84 hit ok and you have this one and then you can move it wherever you want now we have like some shapes that were made before an illustrator and then i've applied some chrome effects on them and i've messed with the messed up with the bevel and emboss stroke inner glow i will go like really fast through them if you want to see a more in-depth tutorial about how i achieved this chrome effect just write it in the comments and i will take into consideration and maybe create a new video about how you can achieve this chrome effect on your shapes so we have like this some stroke inner shadow inner glow some setting gradient overlay and a drop shadow okay so we have these two guys over here which are really really cool if you ask me i really like how they turn out go back we have an ellipse and three ellipses that also have some gradient and some chromatic some chrome effects on them as i said drop a comment down below and tell me that you would like to learn about how you can achieve this chrome effect and i will probably make the next video about about it this is like a apex apex twins logo on which i applied some effects and now we have like another ellipse some numbers now we have the f my name drawn in illustrator on a cyberpunk style on which i've applied a color overlay did not gradient overlay color overlay with the hex color f932 ba which is on normal opacity 100% and then some outer glow f860 dd on normal opacity 45% spread 0 size 9 range white 100% and this selected hit ok so now we have our main text let's just yeah so we have a, our lorem ipsum with blue color which is 00d 00d2ff and then synesthesia synesthesia on which i've applied a chrome effect that looks really really cool and i've messed a bit with the bevel and emboss some inner shadow i've messed a bit with the values also applied a gradient and this is the final result the, the preview okay so it's, this is our main body text and now we have our textures and the most interesting part so let's put it like this so we have our layer 4 how do you achieve this gray noisy so it's very simple go into your color select a gray one like this and then go to filter noise add noise 25 percent gaussian take monochromatic and then put the opacity to 10 on which we've applied another 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 texture that's also available in my texture pack link in the description download it it's for free it's for you thank me by liking this video and subscribing and uh, yeah another paper effect which is also in the texture pack this one has a opa uh, li layer style on lighten 35 percent opacity the next one is on color dodge 100 percent opacity on and in the end i've applied a brightness and contrast adjustment layer with brightness minus 47 and contrast to 100 and this is the final the textures and in the end i've added a barcode so it will make like the whole design more interesting and i put it like in here made by society because you know society cyberpunk rebellious stuff like that i don't want to get in that subject and in the end i've applied a color lookup on the final design which is on normal and the 3d lot file is on crisp winter and you can also uncheck dither because you do not need it 
and yeah this is the final result guys thank you for watching thank you for sticking till the end don't forget that you can get the texture pack in the description of this video also before i end this video for you guys i have a big surprise in this video in the description you will find a link that will give you two months of free skillshare premium courses it's my referral link click on it sign up use your credit card to finalize your account registration don't worry it won't take any money from you you'll get two months for free and at the end of the three, two months subscription it will charge you but you can cancel the subscription before it ends and you will get no charge so yeah guys you have like two sub two months of free skillshare premium classes and a texture pack fee for you guys so yeah all you have to do guys to thank me for giving away this, this free stuff is like this video comment and subscribe to my channel and see you guys in the next one bye bye